ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ராமகிருஷ்ணாய ஃபர்ஸ் ஆஃப் காட் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் டாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் மகாபுருஷ் சுவாமி சிவானந்தா கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் சாப்டர் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எபிசோட் எயிட்டி ஒன் பேஜ் நம்பர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் த்ரீ மகாபுருஷ் மகாராஜ் சேஸ் ஐ ஆம் தட் இட்டர்னல் சுப்ரீம் பீயிங் எவர் பியூர் இல்யூமின் அண்ட் ஃப்ரீ தெர் இஸ் நோ ஜாய் இன் திங்ஸ் ஃபைனைட் த இன்ஃபினிட் அலோன் இஸ் பிளிஸ் இட்ஸ் செல்ஃப் Mahapurush Maharaj continues I am not the body and the sixfold change belongs only to the body I am that eternal supreme being ever pure illumined and free the master has given me that knowledge in the fullest measure that is why it does not make any difference whether the body is well sick or old the body will certainly follow its nature the realizations and experiences which i used to have as a result of much effort are coming to me naturally without effort the master is graciously bestowing upon me those high experiences he has made clear to me the way to the abode of immortality time place and person are categories that belong to the world of phenomena when the mind becomes absorbed in meditation one has no consciousness of these categories when i used to live at almora i visited several beautiful places in the himalayas those places are ideal for spiritual practice and the natural scenery there is without parallel while meditating in those places i found that the moment the mind was directed within that very moment i would be oblivious of plants and trees hills and dales and heat and cold as well not to speak of these external things i would not even be conscious whether the body existed or not how can the mind find joy in external beauty once it becomes absorbed at the feet of the lord the beloved the source of infinite beauty having once tasted of the joy of the infinite earthly pleasures seem trifling that which is infinite is alone bliss there is no joy in things finite the infinite is bliss itself only a portion of that infinite god has manifested itself as this universe with its suns moons stars and countless spheres of existence the rest remains unmanifest one fourth of that principle has resulted in this universe whereas three fourths remain undifferentiated mahapurush maharaj continues no one has ever been able or will be able to know him how can man with his limited understanding comprehend the infinite god that is why the lord says in the gita o arjuna what need is there for you to know these details i alone exist sustaining this whole universe by a portion of myself to be continued om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu